My name's Shane Compain, I'm from Darwin, Northern Territory, lived here my whole life. My favourite fish by far is barramundi, I'm obsessed with them, gotcha. uh, but I target all other fish as well. We're pretty lucky up here in Darwin, we've got a lot of fish to chase. Oh, that was so cool. I've been chasing them pretty hardcore since I was about 15. Then as time's gone on, I've pretty much just targeted the bigger fish, so that metre plus caliper. Um, they're just more challenging, they're smarter, everything about them is just, just addictive. The hit, they, they're so aggressive, they straighten the strongest and toughest of hooks, they break lures, you know, they really test your gear and the last few days I've been using the Shimmer Pro Rig and it's a big tick for me so far. Number one with the Barra Monday lure is durability and strength. You know, that's the most important thing because their jaw structure, they're very powerful fish and a lure that pretty much just lasts longer and you can catch more fish with it is number one. From fishing my whole life, hands down, owner hooks, you know, you can't go past them. They're super sticky, so you can get the corner of the jaw, you gotta have the owner, full stop. Berkeley come to me and they're like, look, we wanna design a, a soft plastic for targeting Barramundi and I'm very happy because they've taken on board uh, all my pointers, um, especially with the super strong hook, the durability of the plastic. Our water clarity is probably the worst in Australia, so we had some pretty wild colours like the bright yellows, the pearl whites, you know, the very out there colours, but it's all about getting that fish's attention and, you know, a good vibration in a soft plastic, which the Shimmer Pro does. It's not too aggressive because of our current, the hard flow in the water. If your plastic's got too much action, it will blow the lure out and it can't kind of hold its own line in the water, but the profile, it's got enough belly roll on that tail action, but it still tracks nice and straight and decent current, puts out a good vibration and the brighter colors, so it's well suited for up here. In the last few days, we've been targeting those larger barrow money that are suspended in the water column. You know, they're ranging from two foot down to about 15 foot. We've been using the six and a half inch, which is the, the biggest size, which I've been really liking. Then again, when obviously if we switch over and we're targeting smaller fish in the drains, the smaller profiles, really important to obviously match the hatch on what the bait fish at that time is. Having those different sizes, different colours, it, it all makes such a such an important role to um, targeting and landing that fish of a lifetime because at the end of the day, you know, you spend the money on the fuel, the time, the gear, the boat, you know, the fuel, the driving, the hours. End of the day, that fish is going to eat that lure, and that lure doesn't do its job, and you lose a fish because of that. It's shot in the foot, but you know, so far it's a big tick because it's been producing the goods. From my experience in using the lure up here, it's going to be a very versatile lure. You know, you could use it for blue water, other parts around Australia. Um, the flathead fishermen, you know, chasing your cod, the impoundment bar, especially those stubborn fish. It's going to be a very versatile lure that should be enjoyed from around Australia by many anglers. All the testing over the last few years, we've finally got the, the final sample and we've given it the big tick. So you need the action, you need the vibration, you need the colours, you know, all these things come together to make a lure that just does everything for you.